I don't know if you're aware of this, but the boys' town down in Omaha uses this model of assertive discipline. And a lot of those children that are in boys' town or that home are children who have typically don't have parents that are that involved with them. They're in there because of the lack of good parenting that has happened and they've gotten themselves in trouble and they've gotten themselves in trouble in multiple schools, kicked out of multiple schools, and now they're in Boys Town. And so assertive discipline in, in that model, every teacher that teaches at Boys Town has to go through the training. And so there isn't much parent communication, but yet every teacher is together using this model and it makes more sense because everyone's kind of on the same page. Um, down there the the kids live with what they call parent families, so two people who are teachers there live in a building and they're kind of like um, overseers of all the students that live with them. And they're, so they act as the parents. But um, it doesn't need to have that parent communication as long as the teacher is being consistent in what they're doing. Um, the Boys Town example is students who are you know, the worst of the worst, right? Or, I mean, they've been kicked out of every other opportunity that they've had, and they're still struggling with learning how to manage themselves. And they have very positive comments to say about using assertive discipline and using it as a school-wide model. So it can be implemented school-wide. I don't know of many other places here in South Dakota that have implemented it school-wide, but that would be a good example.